Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will primarily be solving example number 2.4 and 2.5. Let's see example number 2.4. Here we need to express the Boolean function f a plus b dash c as sum of main terms. Now, what does this mean, sum of main terms? It means that the answer is expected to be of this form. So the main terms, main terms, main terms, and sum of these. Now let's see how to proceed. We'll take help of this table for solving this problem. Now the function has three variables, if you can see, it's a, b, c. The first term a is missing two variables. So this a is alone here. So we got to incorporate b and c. Let's see how it is done. We can write a is equal to a dot 1. So from this postulate, x dot 1 is equal to x. So a dot 1 is equal to a. And then 1 can be written as b plus b dot from here x plus x dot is equal to 1 similarly b plus b dot is equal to 1 and now if you open we get this term ab plus ab dash the function is still missing one variable that is c so we have to incorporate c as well so we follow the same technique we just assume that ab is ab into 1 and a b dash is also a b dash into 1 and for 1 we replace uh, c plus c bar so 1 again using this c plus c bar is equal to 1 or x plus x bar is equal to 1 so we use c plus c bar in both the cases and now if you simplify then this becomes our final value of a which has all the three variables. So this is part number one. Now let's move to part two. The second term b dash c is missing one variable. That is a is missing, so we have to incorporate a here. Again, same technique. B c b dash c is considered to be b dash c multiplied by one. And for 1 we can write a plus a dash. And if we simplify or open the bracket, then the, these are the two terms that we get. So these are three terms in both. And now we can add the two. So combining all the terms, we have for f is equal to a plus b dash c. We put the value of a from here. And we put the value of b dash c here. So this is the value that we get all in terms of a, b, c. And now if you can see these two terms are repeated. So now we'll take help of this formula. x plus x is equal to x. So we'll just write one x or one term. So this is the final answer. We can rearrange this uh, from top to bottom. So from this table, we'll take help of this table. And let's first of all rearrange. So rearranging, we are going from top to bottom. So it is 0, 0, 1. Then it is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, etc. And now we can plug in or find the value of the symbol symbols. Now, instead of drawing this symbol all the time, there's a simple way, just find the value of this term. So you can see it is 0, 0, 1. That means its value is 1. So we'll write M1. So for 1, we write M1. So simply M1 here. This is 1, 0, 0, that means 4, so it is M4. 
one zero one means five, so five and one one zero six and one 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 seven. So we just plug in the values M one, M four, M five, M six and M seven. Now there is a shortcut way when a Boolean function a function is sum of min terms form, it is sometimes convenient to express the function in the following brief notation. So we're just writing that the function has three variables, ABC, and its values is one, four, five, and six. So actually we are not writing M, we're just writing this value one, and then this value four, and then five, and six, seven. And this term summation actually is showing that these are odd. The summation stands for oring the term. So this is actually a representation of this. Now there's an alternative way of solving the same problem. So let's see that. Same question. We find the alt or use the alternative procedure. We want to build a truth table for this where f is equal to 1. Okay, so from here we can see that f will be 1 if a is 1 because these are all terms. So either this is 1, then it will be 1 or this is 1, still it will be 1, or when both are 1, still f will be 1. So the first term is that if a is equal to 1, then f will be 1, and if b dash c is equal to 1, then also f1 will be 1. So what we do, we go to the truth table, and straight away see when will a is 1. What are the so you can see these four terms a is one here so we can just mark f is equal to one at the place of these four okay so that is the first part next is when is b dash c one so now b dash c uh, uh, b dash c is actually this term b dash c so this is one we have to put this one so b dash c one and all these four are one so this is the uh, functional value so others we can put zero so this is the uh, how the truth table will look and so from here we can write the main terms directly this is m1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 1 4 5 6 7 and so we can write it in the simplified form that f a b c is summation of 1 4 5 6 7 and this may uh, this is obviously quite uh, simple simplified form if you could understand the technique let's solve example number 2.5 the question is express the boolean function as a product of max terms the answer expected should be of this form these are the max terms so product of max terms We first convert the function into OR terms. This function is not in OR terms. These are the end terms and then they have been ORed. For this we will take help of this table again. Now if you look at this and if we take consider this as one entity then our this formula is applied. X plus YZ is equal to x plus y and x plus z. So this plus y and this plus z, same will apply here. So it will be x y plus x bar 
multiplied by x y plus z. And rearranging, we can write it x dash first. And now again, we can apply this formula, same formula. So this can be written as x dash plus x multiplied by x dash plus y. Similarly, z plus x and z plus y. So these are now uh, single single term. And if we ignore the repeating terms, or x plus x actually, x, x dash plus x can be neglected as it is 1. So we just write 1 in this place. So this is our simplified form. Okay, so we were up to this point. Now if you note the function has three variables x, y and z but each of the odd terms uh, has missing variable that means this one only has x and y, z missing here, here is y missing and here x missing so we have to incorporate those terms. Now we can say that x dash y is equal to x dash plus y plus z z dash because we know from this formula x dash x is equal to 0 so we can just plug in this to get z term here and from here if we keep these two as one then z z can be split by this formula x plus y z we know is x plus y x plus z so here x dash y plus z and x dash y plus z dash so similarly for x z we'll follow exactly same technique since y was missing so we'll write y y dash which is equal to 0 and then split them as we did here using this formula and same way y z we are incorporating x dash x x dash and then simplify this so combining all the terms our function will be looking like this and ignoring the terms that are repeating so we get this final value you see x y z and x y z is repeating so we get rid of that and similarly okay, x dash y z this is repeating so we get rid of one of those so instead of six terms now we'll have four terms and since we have to go to the uh, max terms so we'll use this formula that we uh, explained in the previous video also this is my own technique and that is you find the value here so this is one 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 that means it is seven and we subtract seven from the decimal value seven so that means this is zero so this will be capital m zero look at this this is one zero one that means five so seven minus five is two so this will be two here same way we can write all the other values so this is seven this is five this is three this is two so it will be m zero seven minus seven m zero seven minus five m two zero 7 minus 3 m4 and 7 minus 2 m5 so the convenient way of expressing this also is that we write x is equal function of x y z and then we use the symbol capital pi to denote 
the ending function. So, and of 0, 2, 4, and 5, and of 0, 2, 4, and 5. So, I hope this gives you some kind of an understanding as to how to solve uh, this type of a problem. Thank you.